It's amazing, actually. Huh? Right, I haven't started yet. That's right. I'm going to start now. Oh, it's started, okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. Yeah, ready. Good morning, folks. We're here in beautiful Picos de Europa on the 24th of May. It's a gorgeous blue sky, and uh, we had great two days, three days of riding to get here. And I'm with Rob, who came down from the Netherlands to ride with us. So, Rob, uh, what do you think about the riding so far? The uh, riding has been amazing. Yeah. Uh, the variety of the terrain, and uh, I've never been here actually. So this is the first time uh, I did this trail, and it's just, it's just absolutely awesome. Yeah, really, it's really, really surprised. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've really been happy to have you along, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, I was curious, out of the three days you did with us. Uh, covering this part of the tour. I know you came over with me from France, but uh, from the riding from Barcelona to here, what would you summarize uh, as being the best day? No, I don't think there's the best day. I think all of them were, were just absolutely crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, was, every day had his different character and it was just absolutely beautiful. So I don't yeah. think you can, can say there's one best day. They're all three great. Yeah, yeah, me too. I just wanted to see if you were going to say Absolutely. the same thing. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, Rob and Erwin are heading back to the Netherlands today. They've got uh, prior work commitments, unfortunately. Wish they could stay, but unfortunately they can't. But uh, wish you guys a good ride. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming. Amazing. Thank and you so much. Well, thank yeah. you, buddy. We'll Absolutely. see you back in Dubai. Great. All Take right. Care. This is Erwin, who came down with Rob from the Netherlands on uh, their brand new 1250 BMWs that they bought. And I uh, just want to check in with you and see what you think about the riding for the last couple of days. Beautiful. Uh, a bit slow, though, because of Otto. But he's learning. Yeah. And uh, he's got a couple of days to train with you to, guys. Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to let Angus show him how to ride fast. Yeah. So uh, we think Otto will finally come around. I think so, too. Good. Well, be safe. Thanks for coming down. You too, guys. Hope to see you, uh, if not sooner, on next year's tour. Absolutely. All right. Ride safe. Bye. folks from Picos de Europa day four of a fantastic tour and it is a marvelous day look at this weather you can't ask for better than this unbelievable the sky is blue light clouds it's cold at seven and a half degrees, but we're all bundled up for it, so we should stay pretty warm, and it should get up to 17 degrees today. Look at this bat, look behind here. Unbelievable. Everybody's excited, the bikes are light, we took all the gear off, and now we're just running naked. So we will bring you lots and lots of fantastic footage today. We're on our way to Can de Valdion, and the road to Can is recommended by Richie Vita. Once again, thank you, Richie. You are the master. I am but an amateur compared to you. So Rob and Irwin got off this morning at seven, heading back to the Netherlands with uh, one stop up in um, France got to go back to work unfortunately and with us today and of course Angus is uh, taking just a gentle ride today up to Kane and back himself but uh, so that just leaves myself Andrew Sergey Otto and Jeff on today's ride big, doing a big loop up and around the Picos uh, all the way up after Can de Valdeon we're going uh, up to Cangas de Ones and then across to Panas in the Asturias region and then back down through the gorge to Potes and back to the hotel. 
we got a van booked for 7 o'clock to take us into POTUS for dinner so we can have a couple of drinks and a nice time without riding on the bikes. So stay tuned. It's going to be stupendous. Or as uh, the Brits say, uh, what was that they like to say? Kraken, I think. Maybe Kraken, yeah, Kraken. We're going to release the Kraken today. But a relaxed ride. We're not going to be flying through the roads. We'll just enjoy meandering around. We're in no hurry. We're here now. And we've got several days of riding here. So, nice and easy. Nothing aggressive. Again, this is the CA-185 from Fuente de to Potes. If you, it's a one-way. One just goes up to uh, the hotel, a little bit beyond the hotel. There's a cable car up there you can take up to the top of the mountain. So it's a great ride, about 20 kilometers each way. If you haven't done it, you have to do it. Because it is, the pavement is absolutely as smooth as a baby's butt. And it's just so nice and curvy but nothing sharp and aggressive. It requires a lot of uh, braking. You can just almost set one speed and go. With the exception of a couple of villages that you go through, they've got those uh, lights where if you're approaching them at more than the speed limit, they turn red to hold you back. And uh, then when you get there with just a pause, they go yellow again so you can pass through. Hopefully get the drone up today while the weather's good. Don't know how long the sunny weather will hold. There's a 50% chance of uh, showers around 3 o'clock this afternoon. But they've been saying that the whole time and uh, we've barely gotten anything. Haven't had to put the wets on once. I want to say that fast. Wets on once, wets on once. That's something you don't see every day. The cow was just standing there, still as hot as anything, with his nose touching the tree. Wasn't licking it, wasn't doing anything, just touching the tree, like he was sniffing it. Maybe it was. This is the town of Putus. Beautiful little place. This will work here. Turn here. And 621 out of POTUS. A little bit of a side trip, not planned, but because uh, I missed the turnoff back in uh, POTUS to turn right, so I went through the village. But that's okay because so far, every time we've gotten lost, we've found great roads. And this is a good one. Hola.
How's that? Nice road. Nice smooth road. You want to try this one? Yeah, I'll try that. She likes fourth and fifth. What's that? She likes fourth and fifth. Really? Yep, she's a big heavy bitch, so be careful. Wind to the high and third. Oh man. How's that? <laughs> and you know, I, I struggle to stop and make a picture and to ride because both road and scenery is amazing. Yeah. I always want to stop. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I haven't ridden in many countries, but what can be better? Mm. And is there anything which is better in terms of scenery and road and all of that? I don't know. I don't know. The quality of the road. No but you've ridden in many countries, right? In Alps and oh, yeah. everywhere. France, you know, Switzerland, Italy. Is that the same? It's... Believe it or not, it's better. It's better? Yeah. This is, no, I don't this is like an 11 plus, but to ride in Switzerland and Austria, Austria will blow mind. Seriously, in Switzerland, the roads you, in Switzerland you, there, you have so many cars. Yeah, that's the problem. Cars and bikes. Well, it's the perfect. The, yeah. the, the, the geometry of the, the tank and it's perfect. Yeah. But the, Dolom the Dolomites in Italy, yeah. insane. But tons of traffic, tons of car, tons of bikes. Oh, okay, but this is also part of the joy. Yeah, but people come, you know, the sport bikes, the Italians and stuff coming around the corner, hauling ass, dragging a knee in your lane. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's scary. I don't appreciate this kind of things. Uh, back on the road after a little break. Just stopped there. We're on the N261 to Candevaldeon. I'm riding uh, the uh, R1250RT and it definitely reminds me why I love the 1600 GT so much because I don't know I feel like I'm riding something else It's okay. I mean, it's a nice bike. It's just not my comfortable bike. everywhere.
Yeah, but we'll come back. Keep going, keep going. Oh well, these idiots. Alright, coming back. Because I gotta stop there. That's a uh, highlight of the uh, one of the places that we have to stop and take pictures. I'm coming. Mirador de la Corzo. Richie, we made it. There she is. And let me get up here and do the usual photo for you. All right, we stopped there at the famous Mirador del Corzo. Actually, I wasn't expecting it uh, so quickly, but uh, there it was. I would go catch up with the rest of the boys. Feels good to be back on my 1600. This is the best bike in the world. I forgot to do my helmet strap again. Shit. Oh well. Be careful. Don't fall off. Eight degrees. A bit nippy. Pull my chin skirt out. I still got my face shield open. I love riding with my face shield open. I uh, hope they turned here. Good. Did you go? Good. Six and a half.
It is absolutely amazing. So happy to be here. Look at the herd of uh, sheep going across the path there. How are you? Hello. Hello. That dog's bringing those last few down. Where's the shepherd though? Is that him walking up the road yet? I think so. When I was going down to uh, Ian's two years ago and I had that F800 GT, my GPS took me off through some villages in Romania, I mean in Bulgaria. The roads, this road here would be considered top notch pavement. Dude, they had freaking potholes that you'd swallow the bike. And sometimes there was absolutely no way to go around them. You'd do, I mean, you spent the whole day just like bopping around them like this. And then you hit one, bang! And you're going like, God, I hope I didn't break the rim, bust a shock, puncture a tire. <laughs> They know which way to go, so it's no issue here. There's only one way to go, to Kane. Oh yeah, it's all programmed on all their GPSs. You wanna wait? Okay, I'll turn. Yeah, no, we'll turn around here. That little chihuahua look like he wants to bite somebody's head off. Yeah, it's sure good. Who's this? This Angus? Yeah. Who are we waiting on? We got a Z's? Okay. <laughs> That's how he does it. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that better if we tried. <laughs> yeah. Angus has joined back up with his people. I don't know. That's 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 sheer luck. Yeah, that's good planning. Welcome, Angus. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, Andrew, stay on the fucking uh, stay on the road there. Yeah, and I got it. I got it all on video. Thank you very much. You weren't looking, were you? Looking down at something. But it don't take long, does it? Trust me, I know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Look at that cave up on the hillside. Look at this place. Look at this. And it's about to get real, too. Jeff, did you bring a, a, a cable with a USB-C adapter, a USB-C plug on it? Jeff. Where's Jeff? Am I in the back? Oh, oh, he's way back there. I see him now. He might have stopped to get that lady's number or something. Okay, cool. He can ride fast, though, as he's... Yeah, you should see him in Omaha. He keeps up with the, the best of them. Pretty little house right there. Down by a creek. coming. I don't want to pass the Z's because I want to get them. Get him on camera. There we go. I got him now. smooth it's like a roller coaster you know it, it reminds me of those alpine slide th rides that they have now yeah Finally entered the gorge, rolling into Cane. Look at this beautiful scenery. Gorgeous river on the right. A fantastic road. And we're 1.5 kilometers from Cane. This is one of the highlighted parts of the route here along the cliff side.
Well, we've arrived in Kane, folks. And about the own. Huh. A lot of planning to get here, but we're here, and now we're going to enjoy our coffee. But just before we do, look around at this scenery. Unbelievable. Incredible. Well, coffee time, folks. Thank you. 